Oh, Andy oh, McSweeney, and Joe's we got to do the interviews. And then we'll give it to him. Get the interviews on him. Like Jersey Shore, like they what he's doing. Like we'll, do, we'll do like an interview. Me, you, talking about a thing that just right after something that happened, then you interview the person involved of what happened. That's how you know they if do they're, uh, the right for you. Like if like somebody so gets listen, crazy, can, then you interview that part. What we can do is, you know, me and Annette can, can watch some of your stuff, you know, right. stuff that you have. Yeah. And we can see where maybe we can construct, like, you know, what would be entertaining as Yo, a type. You know? It's like Jerry and George talking about their episode. Yeah. Remember that when they were putting the pilot together? Remember that? My boy, I'm a boyfriend. I'm a boyfriend. Oh. We got people that come in <laughs> that are just shot in the head, talking to us, and we're laughing. We keep meeting all these characters in the, in the bar. Yeah, like, yeah. The, I roam, get your hand out the, of the, ball, it, the material just presents Peter, itself. You want, Peter, you want the best one? <laughs> well, I think, the, honestly, I think that's why yeah, reality Mary, is because it's no, no. successful. Yeah. Like you said, you know, it's something oh, where no. they have so much of it scripted, but then there's so much that yeah. just happens. That they're like, awesome, we're in the right place, right. you know, at the right time constantly, yeah. you know? Because obviously they're paying and constantly the cameras rolling. They're right. ready. Yeah, they're ready. Sure, you know. Peter, how would you like to do severe, severe OCD with bipolarism, <laughs> and then you kick menopause on top of it? <laughs> we have got two things. We got one like that. I could do a side interview about Joe and his the fact that he has his own dictionary. Yeah. And <laughs> mention some of the names and how... People are in shock and, you know, really kind of getting there. Oh, my God, I want to die. What is Why is he using these Me. words? Uh, vegetarian. Because I'm not a cockatarian. Oh, Joe. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> 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 you got a laugh. Keep it. You got a laugh. Keep it, bro. That's the show. <laughs> that's the show. 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 I have so much of a crazy joke. I'm a crazy joke. See, this is what we have on film. Well, you know, when I see the show, um, I was watching a lot of shows on TV that have like a lot of stuff. Yeah. Shows going to me. Yeah, I, got my I see you over like if we did this as a reality, since it's that kind of automobile type genre, I feel like we'd have to do it like that. Like, obviously, we're not like the Jersey Shore. Right. It's not a bunch of idiots running around. Right. You know, there's, there's a club behind his car. So I feel like it has to be tailored more towards the people that are on that list. Actually, you haven't been out with us. We all no, like the Jersey Shore. No, but I mean, <laughs> right? so the West Coast is the whole thing. They're hysterical. I mean, they're yeah. I mean, yeah. a family. They're crazy. You know? No, but. No. I mean, you can't get your network. Jersey Shore idea when you're also trying to tell them the show is also about the car. You have to try to market it on what it is, but make that successful and entertaining. So whenever you're pitching something to a studio or, or a producer, it's always a heavy comparison to something that you're trying to be that was equally successful. Right, right, so right. we're trying to, not being the same thing as Michael, but understanding that, hey, that's the niche, so we're, we're, we're another automobile type thing, or unique, you know, and... and that's that's where kind of we're trying to find your thing. Good part of this is why don't you guys do a remake of like American Graffiti? It only goes from where American Graffiti left off into the muscle cars. From the go from the 50s, 60s, go into the 70s, 80s, and the shit that was going on with guys are buying hot rods out of a dealership instead of making them in their backyard. Right. Okay. And there was a lot of them guys. I was one of them. The old man, same shit. You made the shit in your backyard. You didn't buy it out of a dealer. We're talking about a feature film. Mm -hmm. You can do that though. That's going on now. Because the resurgence is coming back to where you can buy shit in the dealer.